What are we going to do, Claire? We have to talk about this. We both own a half share of the property. I spoke to a solicitor, and according to him, we have three options. One, we sell the place and split the money, only I figure you want to stay here. The second is we split the place in half, because technically either one of us can sell our share without permission of the other, only I figure that'd freak you out too. So the third option is you buy me out. You know, you pay me for my half share. So, um, we should get a valuation. This is my place. Mine. Well, yeah, but, um, Jack left half... You the... left us. You and Ruth. Dad and I worked this place for 20 years and not one word from you. You left us. What happened? Who's dead? No one. Good. Come on. There's something I want you to see. Oh, go away, Claire. Where I learned to swim. It's also where I had my first kiss. Who was it? Claire! Got one chance, that's what they say. They're all wrong, because there are many ways. Got to want it, got to know, and nothing's just as it seems. It's not easy. What does it look like to you? It was built by my grandfather's grandfather. From stones he cleared from the first paddock of Drover's Run. Okay, it's an old shed. This was where Jack died. Nothing certain. That's a tough. Nothing easy. Yeah, that's rough. Walk towards it or let it go. Speak the word. Nothing fancy. He wouldn't have wanted that. That's my mother. Who's that? That's Adam. He was stillborn. Your little brother, I didn't know about that. He died along with my mum. Your half brother. You do a great line in guilt trips, you know that. You say you only want to sell off a bit of the place, Tess. Which bit do you want to sacrifice? Here? Your father's here, both my parents. You want to sell my creek? 
Oh, what about the old stone hut? Maybe we could afford to lose that. What's the matter? I think that I just lay it on and I don't. I choose. Okay. I choose. I know this is a hard thing to do. I'll be with you, I promise. You won't have to go through it alone. The thing is, if he can rape once, he can do it again. Staffed. You're sacking me because you can't keep it in your pants. Get out. You can tell anyone you like. Because no one's going to believe you. He would. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big hand for local girl, Claire McLeod, on the rock. Come on, mate, Ron.
to um, check on some heifers. I sent Tess out to have a look, but she doesn't know what she's doing. I'll be back. Where's the you? Tess took it. What's wrong? Oh, that's right. That's right. She had to take it because she can't ride. That's OK. I can ride. I can ride. I'll, I'll take a horse. Now, Star, Star, Star has a better work. There's a tumour. You couldn't tell before now. Right, so we operate. Claire, it's too far gone. If you want, Greg can put him down or I can do it. No. No, I'll do it. I'll see you now. Mr. Rocco. Where? Gone to put him down. Don't you give me any trouble, all right? My heart is like the river. My heart is like these hills. They never change, I never change, and I never will. He wants you with him, mate.
Sorted out all our problems, have you? I need to get that worked up about it. I thought when we left, that was it. I thought he just totally wiped me and Mum. Every year until I was ten, he sent me a card. Birthday and Christmas. I can't believe my mum sent all these back if I'd just known. Did Jack ever say anything? What? About the cards when they came back. Was he upset? I never even knew he sent them. I better get back to work. My darling daughter, Tess. Even though I can't be with you today, on your sixth birthday, I want you to know that I love you very much. You love me, Claire. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. Well, let's get Cook out here. Sure. What do you tell the cops? About the rape? Your wife and children will find out about it? Who's gonna believe you? We'll see. You still got off lighter than me. We could have been digging his grave by now and dumping his body and telling crappy lies and we still would have gone to jail anyway. He won't tell. You could be in heaps of trouble, Ben. I couldn't, Joan. It's okay. <laughs> I'd heard about this rodeo up north. We were crazy about them. Any chance to ride one, we took it. I remember. Dad never let us go that far, so we... Nicked his car and drove there. 
And we were underage. I was 15, Nick was 14. So I had to forge his signature. We'd already ridden a couple of stairs. Both done real well. I mean, it would have been better if we hadn't. For me, at least. I mean, I was starting to think that I was immortal. He doesn't at 14. Yeah. There's this old bloke. He'd sit on this fence. He said, uh, if you're so good, mate, give the bull a go. <laughs> Alex is going, go on, go on, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started putting on the bull armour. Alex says only girls wear it. He's just joking, he's just trying to get a rise out of me. He was always a better rider than me. Didn't that piss you off? I mean, he thought he could ride anything. So I just wanted him to prove it. Maybe I was scared. Maybe that's why I fell for it. I mean, I wouldn't have normally. So you didn't put it on? I was slaughtered. 200 kilo of a bull can mash you up a bit. I've got a plate here, I've got screws here, screws down there, plate down there, and the kneecap's plastic. I've never seen so much blood. The bull was right on top of it. I thought I'd... I killed my little brother. So I just ran and ran and ran. I remember all these people, right? Clown chasing the, the bull away. Um, Ambos, medics. More doctors at the hospital. Nurses, you know, all these people. But no, Alex. I finally got the guts to front up at the hospital and waited. And then Dad turned up. He walked straight past me and asked the nurse where his son was. And I was sitting right there. What did he do? Did he hit you? I thought he was going to. I was ready for it. But all he said was, what happened? What happened and don't lie. And he never spoke about it again. I was in hospital for months. Mum came every day. Nearly killed her. Uh, Dad came a few times. Alex, not once. He was scared. Well, what was going to do to him? No. What he did to you. I know Dad blames me. Every time he yells at me, every time he picks on me. It was an accident. It wasn't your fault. Tell Dad. Tell me. I've ended up with a limp. Dad hates me for it. So, I became the businessman. See, Dad respects that. And it's something Alex can't hold over me, you know. So now you know. But you know what? In my dreams, I can still ride. And I'm still beating Alex.
Never do that again. We need to get them to hospital. I'll take it. Yeah, then maybe you'll sign over the property to you. You should get yourself checked out too. Come on. You should have left me. Yeah, easy, mate. You just save your chatter for the nurses, all right? Come on, Nick. I should have thought. How are you supposed to know what's going on in someone else's head? How is it your fault? You don't understand. You're right, I don't understand. He's got a wife and kids. They weren't important to him. Bill's family's been here almost as long as ours. That's a bore undone. Mm -hmm. Any word on Bill? Oh, I didn't think to ring. I suppose they'd ring his wife, wouldn't they? Yeah. And kids. I mean, how are they going to feel, huh? The person who's supposed to love them most in the world has decided they're not worth living for. It's pretty horrible. What's wrong, Tess? seven years old and I came home from school and I saw mum lying on the couch I thought she was sleeping and then I found the pills I thought it was something that I'd done told me later it was because of Jack. Because, um, she loved him too much. Ruth was the one who left. One minute he was a bastard. Next he was the love of her life. I was so angry with her. I 
wanted to know how. And I... I thought if I wasn't perfect that um, maybe I should try it again or something. That's a lot for a child to deal with. Yep. You should have told. You shouldn't have done that to me. I was just a kid, Mum. I was just a kid. Help's here now. It's busted. There's no way we're going to get this off him. Bloody thing, Tip Derwin. All right, to Kalani. Yeah, make it fast. I couldn't jump free. It's all right. She won't be long. Help will be here soon. do it. You sit down. Yeah, it's right on top of him. It's on his legs. Well, yeah, Jack, the one title from the top, Terry. That won't player. work. Don't, don't work. move do it. it. What do you mean, don't move it? Get it up, mate. The Ambo said not to move it. It could make it worse. How can it get any worse than this, Nick? Exactly. Can you feel your legs, Dad? I wish I could. My left leg's killing me. Oh, my chest, I can't breathe. Let's move it! What, are you a doctor now? Will you stop it? He needs you. Harry, just relax. We're getting something to you, OK? He's having problems breathing. Look, I'll go and get the tractor. It's got a lot more grunt to lift this yeah. thing off by the time the ambos get here, right? I'm not waiting for the ambos. I'll fire the fisher and get the doctor myself. Have you got any pain in your, in your shoulder or your Sh arm? Shoulder, yeah, arms, no. Shoulder only. Oh, God, it's not a heart attack, is it? <laughs> yeah. OK. You're going to be fine here, all right? I'm going to fly to fish and get the doctor, OK? Just keep him warm, keep him comfortable, no fluid. Claire, give us a hand, stop it slipping. <laughs> Listen, Alex, if I don't get through this... Don't be stupid, you'll be fine, OK? I just want you to know Kalani's yours. Look after it. Yeah, you know, Will. You know that. Daddy, you, you know I... Yeah, 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 I know. I'll just go. Right. Water. Blanket. Uh, a jacket. I need a jacket. No, no, it's all right. You've already packed one. All right. Uh, coffee. Maybe I should make some sandwiches. Ah, uh, I don't think anyone will be up to eating or drinking. Maybe we should just head down there as soon as we can. Yes. No. I can't. I can't do this. Not again. How long? Soon, Harry. Alex will be back real soon. Just get me out of this, please. Yeah. Hey, you okay? Oh, it's just... God, it hurts. Harry, don't talk. Just... You'll be okay. Don't give up on me, Harry. Don't do this. We're gonna have to shift him. Uh, yeah, get it off me. They said no. Oh, he's getting worse. Uh, if we take it slowly, he'll be all right. Claire, he's my dad. If I say we don't move him, we don't move him. Nick. I want to change my will. Oh, come on, Dad. Don't be like that. You'll no. be fine. No, I have to... Claire! Give me my witness. Right here, Harry. And I want not just Alex to get Kalani. Both of you. All right. Clear. I heard. 
Michael only goes to both sons. It's just to make up for, you know. Do a good job. Of course, you know I will. We both will. And hospitals. All the waiting. Not knowing. But Harry's tough. He'll make it. I'll never forgive him. Never. But it was an accident. No, it could have been prevented. I'm not I was here. Sorry? Someone called. Who? From the Rodeo. To say that the boys were there. He could have stopped them. He could have said that they didn't have his permission. But he wanted to teach them a lesson. And what have we all learned? He makes me sick. Everyone thinks he's great. And I did too. We used to laugh and, and joke around. <laughs> he even let me do the banking. He trusted me. And I trusted him, too. I told him things that I would never tell anybody. And then that night, after the rodeo, I just kept thinking, you're supposed to be my friend. And now Kimmy's going through the same thing, too. I can't blame us for being crazy, Claire. We've got to try. Hey! There you are! Hey. We have to get out of here now. What's the matter? It's something terrible. I... I turned you into the immigration people. I saw you and Becky, and I thought... I thought you didn't love me. Oh, I love you every minute. I love you. That's why we have to go. No. I'm not going to run. I'll come with you. No. The immigration people will send you back to Italy. And I should go back. Listen to me, Jody. I've been thinking. I don't want us to be running away like... Thieves in the night. I can't do that to your family or my family. So. It's our fault. No, no, Bella. I want to show you off to my mother and my sisters, but not in, in shame. I want us to be proud. I come back when I finish my army service, and then we can live free from fear forever. It's best. Sorry, Alberto. I understand. Mama probably do the same. <laughs> I promise you're right. Every day. <laughs> Ciao, amore. Did I say it right? Forgive me. What's there to forgive? You did this out of love. El nuestro amor es eterno. See for someone who can't read. I said get out. 
I just dropped by to tell you the news. Charges against me have been dropped. Seems young Kimmy's changed the story. Told the cops she'd made the whole thing up. Just like you, Becky. I knew you'd nicked it. You're lying! It's not true! You got to it, didn't you? You can't just slime your way into my place and think that you can get away with it. Your place? It's a joke. You're just a hanger-on, aren't you? Take and clear my cloud for all you can get. I hate you! I'm gonna get, get you! I'm gonna get, 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 get you! Get off! Get off! You are trespassing, Brian. I suggest you leave now. Yeah, well, she's a thief. And you're a rapist. Oh, I'm not according to the police. You can't do this to me. I hate you. I'll be back for the pool table. You can't get away with this. I'm not going to let you do this to me again. <laughs>